What's up, it's Blind Spot Vlog. I know I've been doing quite a lot of banana updates lately, but I have a lot to share with y'all, right? So this one is the front yard banana update. Uh, the one that does not get overwintered at all. These, this was just one plant last year and um, it died back to the ground and it came up as four, which is really nice. You see the corn is really large now. We got one, two, and three plants. No, and another one coming up now. Another one coming up there. So this corn's pretty large. The circumference of this corn down there is really big, which is really great. Uh, and right now, three will turn into four, probably plus five next year. But look at the height of these guys. They're already almost approaching five feet tall or so. And it's only mid-June. Last year when I got this thing, in August, it was only two feet tall. So that gets you in that, and you saw how big it got. It's actually about to approach the height it did last year, uh, last December before it went to the ground. So it's already almost caught up to that old height. Uh, it's already almost up there. And it's about, and they pump out a leaf every week or so. No, not every week, week and a half. Because look at the different, the length of the, the petioles. Uh, look at this, a leaf here, and then go all the way up here's another leaf. So that's much. That's the difference between each leaf. That's how much height it gains, which is quite a lot. If you go to my other video, uh, my other banana that I did overwinter, that's not too far away from fruiting. The petal difference, the length between each petal is really short, which means it's getting close to fruiting. And these have a really long distance between the petals, meaning it's an active growth, really fast, tall growth. Also, if you notice, the leaves. This area is protected by wind, therefore the leaves do not get shredded. They stay very nice and pristine all year round. Unless we get a really bad storm, but... Remember guys, this came up from just the ground for about a month and a half ago. And that's how it looks. Just imagine, two months from now, they'll be up here. And then three months, up there. And they'll just keep going. I do not expect these guys to ever fruit. These will always die down to the ground in winter. The only one that will fruit will be the one that overwinter. Uh, the ones that overwinter. And I might take one of these, actually. When winter comes, I might take one of these once they're really big. Because these will get really tall. I might take a specimen and dig it up from the corm and save for next year. Because I know these are really big now. And when I got my banana plant back in August, it wasn't even this big. So I was going to show you that.